Albert and the Lion, Part 2. You've heard our young Albert Ramsbottom in the zoo up at Blackpool one year with a stick with the horse's head handle gave the lion a poke in the ear. The name of the lion was Wallace, and that poke in the ear made him wild. And before you could say Bob's your uncle, well, he'd up and he'd swallowed the child. He was sorry the moment he'd done it. With children, he'd always been chums, and besides, he'd no teeth in his noddle and couldn't chew Albert on gums. But Albert kept kicking and fighting till Wallace arose, feeling bad, and felt it were time that he started to stage a comeback for the lad. So with his head down in the corner on his front paws, he started to walk and he coughed and he sneezed and he gargled till Albert shot out like a cock. Meanwhile, Mr. and Mrs. Ramsbottom gone out to tea, feeling blue. And Ma says, I feel down in the mouth like. And Pa said, I bet Albert does too. Well, let's look on the bright side, said Father. What can't be helped be, must be endured. Every cloud has a silvery lining, and we did have young Albert insured. A knock at the door came that moment as Father these kind words did speak. Twas the man from Prudential. He'd called round for their tuppence per person per week. <laughs> Excuse him for laughing, said Mother, but really, things happen so strange, our Albert's been at by a lion. <clears throat> now it's time to pay us for a change. What well, said the young fellow from Prudential, now come, come, let's understand this. You mean to tell me you've lost him? Ma says, oh no, we know where he is. Well, the young man had heard all the details. A bag from his pocket he drew and he paid them with interest and bonus. The sum of nine pounds, four and two. Pa has scarce got his hands on the money when a face at the window they see. And mother says, E, look, it's Albert. And father said, Aye, it would be. Young Albert came in all excited and started his story to give. And Pa said, I'll never trust lions again as long as I bloody live. And the young fella from Prudential to pick up the money began. And Father said, eh, just a moment. Don't be in a hurry, young man. Then giving young Albert a shilling, he said, pop off back down to the zoo. Here's your stick with the horse's head handle, son. Go see what the tigers can do.